Hello everybody, happy first day of autumn. It was a perfect day too because a cold front came in and woke up this morning to about 57, 58 degrees and very low humidity and it was perfect. Um, it's warmed up to 80 degrees but it's still really nice. It's not hot and it's not humid so it's perfect as you see I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. I mean it's not that cold but it's also I'm not standing outside sweating and I love it and I hope it stays like that. So um, got home early from work and I'm fixing myself to make a latte. I've been doing a little experimenting. So this one here is actually the base that I'm starting with is an infused uh, oat milk that I did with our new caramel cream rooibos tea. And then this one, I saw this one in the catalog. I was really excited when I first saw it. I was one of the first things I wanted to buy. Um, it's a rooibos tea, which means that it is naturally caffeine free so if you just wanted to have a nice dessert tea or a late night tea without having to worry about the caffeine this one's perfect so what i did as far as making the infused milk i just heated up about a cup of milk on the stove top or the microwave whatever i filled a steeping sack full of the tea and i just steeped it like you would normally steep any other tea um, i did do it a little bit longer um, um, it's four to six minutes. I probably did it maybe a little I mean, closer to eight minutes just so I could get all of that infused flavor in there. You could add a little bit more if you wanted to as well. Um, and then I just put that aside. It filled up um, an eight an eight ounce uh, mason jar that I keep in the fridge and use as a base. Uh, you want to use it within about a week. Um, after that, it starts to, I mean, it's, it's milk. It's uh, it doesn't have any other additives to it, so you got to use it um, within a few days. So I'm in my last bit here. So I've got this one. I poured it in here. It's got this nice um, caramel color to it, and I heated that up. And so what I'm doing is something a little different. Um, instead of just making a straight latte, uh, I'm going to add some matcha to it. And I couldn't decide which matcha to put into it. Naturally, the first thing that came was salted caramel, but that's caramel on top of caramel. I was like, I want to try something else different and I still have a lot of fruity things. I don't think any fruit really goes with caramel except maybe apple. We don't have apple matcha. So I decided I'm going to use um, some of the last of my sweet white chocolate matcha um, that I've been saving because I've been waiting for my next bag to come in. But I decided I am going to try it today. It was either that or the chocolate chip matcha, but I decided I the sweet white chocolate matcha smells so good. It smells so good. If you haven't gotten it, I really, really highly recommend that you get it. It's really good. Okay, got my spoonful of matcha in there. Put that in. Take my little whisk and whisk that up. Now, if you just want this to remain caffeine free, then just use the infused milk. And like I said, the rooibos is naturally caffeine free. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, oh, also in the milk, I added um, about two tablespoons of maple syrup. Uh, you can, again, the beauty of making your own stuff is adding whatever kind of sweetener you want and however much you want. So I did that much. Um, and then with the added sweet matcha, it, it, it should be plenty sweet for me. Okay, and then I've already got, so another thing I was thinking is, it, it, I could have just used a lot more of the infused milk and made that my 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 latte. Because it is milk, it is infused. Um, I decided that it was a little bit more condensed than I want, so I was, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more milk. Okay, so I already got milk heated up in here and froth, so I'm gonna pour that on top. This cup is a lot bigger than it looks. I thought this was like a, a smaller rig when I bought it, but it's, pretty huge <laughs> so I'm not gonna fill the whole thing up because it's a wait it's almost like a soup cup I didn't it didn't seem like it was that big when I bought it but whatever it's okay so I got my milk in there let me do half the whole thing is probably at least it's got to be at least 16 ounces for the whole cup and I don't need a drink that big so all right we got that right there got that and then I'm going to try to put some whipped cream on it um, I use non-dairy because I don't do dairy too much. I got the almond milk. 
the problem with Omnic is that it doesn't seem to have as much use out of it as a regular whipped cream. Um, but I was reading some other comments of people complaining about the same thing, that it doesn't last as long, you don't get as much. Is that, you know, it'd be helpful if you read the directions because it says in order to get the rest, you've got to run it under warm water and then shake it several times. So I hear it in there before I would hear liquid, but then nothing would come out. So hopefully this trick worked because I ran it under the faucet for about a minute so let's see if not then I need to go buy more but hopefully I do let's see oh look it actually is working I got some in there ha huh. okay so I probably potentially have another oh my god how much have I actually wasted throwing away I think I was out of it and totally uh empty 